Hi, I'm Dennis Moreland with Dennis Moreland Tag, and I'm here today with my friend Bozo Rogers, NRCHA, AQHA, Ranch Versatility, and Roping Judge, Professional Horse Trainer. Bozo, would you show us how you correctly hold your reins when you're showing a snaffle bit horse? There's several ways of, you know, of holding your reins. I normally always cross my reins over to where I've got a bridge over my horse. That way, if I need to adjust my rein real quick, I can hold on with this hand and slide this hand down here, and I can pull him around quicker. You know, then I can come back here, I can reach down here, and I can pull this horse around quicker. Some of the guys will hold them a little bit like a regular rein. They'll hold them a little bit like this. You know, they've got them. You know, it's a it's a deal of preference. You know, a lot of the guys that you know they they come across these reins here, and they'll have a little bubble there. You'll see that little bubble. You know, it's just personal preference. You know, for me, I can just adjust my reins the other way a little quicker and a little smoother. In some of your AQHA classes, you have to have a bridge over the neck. You know, it's not legal to have you know both reins on one side. So, you know, just for me, I try to keep one rein on each side with a bridge over their neck like that. That way I know I'm legal in every class. I don't have to worry about it. And then I can adjust my reins real, you know, real quick as far as adjusting. Bozo, thank you for those little bits of knowledge and I'm sure they'll help someone out there with how to tack their horse up and how to hold the reins. Thank you. You're welcome. For more tips and to take a look at some of the country's finest handmade tack, log on to dmtac.com.